Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you all what's in my girl's Easter baskets. But before I do get started with that, I wanna go ahead and introduce myself. I am Suzette, a fiance and a stay-at-home mom of two beautiful girls, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. And guys, I am super excited because this is gonna be the very first video up on my channel. This is a new journey that I'm starting and I'm super excited for it. I am ecstatic to see where this goes, where this takes me, and I cannot wait to share everything with you all. I'm gonna be um, making videos of anything regarding motherhood, a lifestyle, a day in the life, cleaning motivation stuff, as well as uh, shop with me's, little mini hauls, as well as gift guides, such as the one that you're gonna be seeing today. So yeah, that's the quick little intro because I don't wanna take too much time as I have a lot to show you all. Yeah, the first thing I do wanna say is I went overboard and i am really aware of that when my fiance saw everything yesterday laid out he was like Ooh, that's a lot and i am well aware of that um the reason i wanted to share this with you all is because i really love easter baskets it is a great way to give you guys ideas as to what you could give your little ones um but by no means is this am i telling you that this is what you have to get your little ones that you have to get them this much or anything like that i know we are in hard times uh, some people just cannot afford to do this and some people just do not want to do this um, so honestly kids are going to be happy with whatever it is that you give them whether you give them a few items you give them as much as i am or if you just want to go and grab a few things from the dollar tree the target dollar spot or just give them chocolate or honestly they'll be so happy which is having a little egg hunt or having a nice day at the park trust me they're gonna enjoy it either way i just want to share this with you all so you could get some nice ideas for your little ones um, and these are things that you could do either for easter or also for any other special occasion like their birthdays christmas some things that you could actually include in their stocking stuff for, for when christmas comes around or if you want to do any of these for like a valentine's day basket yeah so i'm going to be sharing it with you all i hope this helps and again this is just something I love to do and I wanna share it with you all. I am well aware I went overboard, but I love doing this for my girls. So this year I was a little bit stumped as to what to get the girls for Easter because last year I kind of did it, but I didn't really focus too much on their Easter baskets for my little one. I only got her like four things cause she was only six months. So, and for my oldest, I ended up getting her a few more items, which I felt bad afterwards that I got so much less for the little one. But everything that I got, I think I got from Walmart in their Easter section, so it wasn't anything like crazy. This year, um, I was looking for some ideas and I ended up finding this uh, Easter gift guide and it kind of showed you different categories as to what you could get from um, something to wear, something to read, something they want, something to enjoy, um, something to create, and then a few more. Um, and of course, I got the multiples in each category. That's how I ended up going overboard for them. But nonetheless, it was a helpful guide. And at the end, um, within everything that I got them were things that I wanted to get for them that I was going to end up getting at one point or another or things that they needed and I was going to have to run down to the store to buy. So it was nice to be able to incorporate it all into their baskets and give it to them for Easter, especially since a lot of things are great for spring now and then uh, some that are great for into the summer. All right, so let's get started with the baskets. I do want to say that I got them both uh, things that were exactly the same and then a few items that were pretty similar. Um, but all in all, I ended up getting them the same exact amount of items as well as in price range. That way, you know, everything would be even. And I want them both to know that they're loved equally and that you know to make sure that there's no jealousy and no fights, especially with my oldest one because she's the one that really does understand this. Like I said, she's actually three and a half and my youngest is a one and a half. So I have to make sure that, you know, they do understand things are equal for both of them and, you know, that there's the same amount of love for each one. Um, but I'm going to get started with my oldest baskets and then uh, anything that is repeated, I'll make sure to go through it a little bit quicker when I'm showing you guys the second basket. All right. To start off, I'm going to show you guys the baskets that I got for the girls and I got them both the exact same one. Um, I got these at Michael's just yesterday. Um, I had originally gotten them another one, but I got them so much that it didn't fit. So I had to run to Michael's and I got this one, which is much bigger. I believe it's 
14 and a half inches wide so it was perfect everything fits pretty nicely in here except two items that i'll be putting on the side but i really like this it's great quality and i love how it brings the liner so i could either use it with it without it and i might have their names stitched onto here later on and i'm going to be including a tag that i'm going to make myself with their names on it so that it's personalized as well and then a little something hanging from here um, but I thought these were great and Michael's right now it's have is having a 40% off of all of their Easter baskets and gift bags so if you still need a gift bag um, uh, an Easter basket definitely run down to Michael's because they have a wide variety really nice ones and at a great price and Target does as well they have really nice ones that you could definitely check out and then they of course have like big ones and smaller ones that you can look at and inside i have the easter grass that i got um and it comes with like a whole bunch of flowers which i still have to you know uh shush in here to make it look nice but this i got at target it's from the spritz brand and it's three ounces worth of easter grass and i thought it was just so adorable so springy because of the flowers so i had to grab it and they both had the exact same thing so there you go same basket the first thing i did include in their baskets are these little wands these i actually made myself um so that's that's it right there i made these myself and i wanted to include one in each uh girl's baskets because it's a little nice touch for the basket it makes it look nice plus um they both love like little wands so it's something that they would enjoy that was with the season and would add a little pop to the basket and my little one is getting this one i mean sorry my oldest one is getting this one and then my youngest one is getting it in another color um, i'm also going to be including in the basket for my oldest this headband over here um, this i actually got for her two years back so for her second easter and i have kept it since i had gotten this at target and um, it's just something that i put away whenever uh, easter is over but i make sure to bring it back out because it's very nice to just include in the basket and take pictures with it all over again. So one thing I like to do is include books for any occasion, whether it is their birthday, Christmas, or Easter. So this year I wanted to do two books for each one of my girls and I'm actually missing a book for each because I am super indecisive and I cannot make up my mind. But the one I do have right now for my oldest is this one. Oh, sorry. When I Pray For You, um, I thought this book had a really nice storyline. I like what it shows inside and the illustrations are just so adorable. I love how it is. Um, and I thought it was great to add to, to their collection. And I know my, my oldest loves story time. So this is something great for, for me to read to her at night. So next, I got both of the girls some stuffed dolls. These I got at Target and I thought they were super nice. I had actually seen some Cuddle and Kind dolls, um, I think during, I would say Valentine's Day time. And I saw them for the first time. I thought they were amazing, beautiful, but they're a bit pricey and I thought it wasn't the time to get that for them. I might get them for them for uh, their birthdays. But for now, I saw the, the following that I'm going to show you at target and i thought they were so nice and it's um at least for my oldest it's this kitty one here um i had actually showed her two different ones and i had her pick which one she liked for her and which one she liked for her sister and she chose this one here it is so nice it's great quality and this was only i would say 15 16 dollars and i got it in clearance so i got it for quite a bit less but Target has really nice stuffed dolls for a lot less than Cuddle and Kind. So I thought it was a great alternative. They're really nice. They could include it now in their rooms when we do the makeover of their bedroom, which is going to be an upcoming video. Or they could include them in their little um, book nook, their little reading space that we're going to have. Um, and I thought they were super nice. And I always like to include a stuffed animal or doll in their basket or for any occasion because I think they're super nice. And yeah. This one was really, really pretty from Target. For the girls, I ended up getting them both the exact same few items that I'm gonna show next. Um, and it's because I really like for them to dress the same, though I have to get over that because they're not twins, but I think it's cute when they dress the same. I just have to start looking now for items that are similar, that they could look cute together because I know I buy them a lot of the exact same thing. <laughs> but nonetheless, one of the things that I got them that they were going to need anyways, because we live in Florida, it's always hot. 
we're always at the beach or at the pool um so one of those items is this a bathing suit here it's so cute it's from um the just for you brand by carters at target and i thought it was so sweet such nice colors like i said um great for spring summer since we're going to be at the pool and at the beach all of the time and i love the print my oldest one loved this one from the second that she saw it online as i was scrolling and i love how it has the little zipper at the front so it makes it easier to like um, put it on and off especially when you know they have just gotten out of the water and you know this starts to cling onto their skin so it's a really nice bathing suit and i like the long sleeved ones because they're really fair skin and since they're so little i want to be able to take care of their skin so i got them both the exact same one and then to go along with their bathing suits i also got them these cute little sandals from cat and jack okay these cute little sandals with a unicorn at the bottom and i got them in like the light pink with a darker pink and i thought this could go with so many different items as well as their bathing suits and i know they're gonna love it especially my little one who loves to now put um her oldest sister's flip-flops so these were great items that they do not have and i know that they're definitely going to be using a lot of and need now for the summer i also got my girls um some clothes um there's it's nothing fancy it's just some essential items for spring and summer because they have a lot of things to like really go out but i wanted some things that were casual for around the house and um nice enough to to go out in so i ended up getting some of those and then again they're gonna be the same for both of them but this is for my oldest this little cute shirt from cat and jack with the matching leggings i thought it was such a nice print and i know everything revolves around like the same color scheme and flowers but i thought it was so cute and so simple something nice to throw on um, when we're running errands or just going to the park or even inside the house um, and these like i said cat and jack from target and then I also ended up getting both of them this little set here. Um, it, it actually comes separate, but it's also from the Cat and Jack brand um, at Target. And then I got the shirts in these colors, in this color, yellow, because I thought it was very nice, vibrant, and they don't have much in, in yellow. So I thought it was very cute. And it goes very nicely with these little shorts, which are so adorable. And they fit them both so nicely. They're really comfortable. I love the the dainty flowers the prints on them so i thought it'd be something very cute for them to wear for spring and summertime to go along with their clothes i also got the girls um a little purse backpack and some accessories and for my oldest i ended up getting her this very adorable little backpack from cat and jack at target so of course the second i saw this bag show up online and in stores i knew i had to get it for my oldest and i'm sure the little one is definitely going to be using this as well it's going to be stealing it from her um but anyways you know this is something that they're both going to be sharing um but I thought she would definitely love this. She loves backpacks, purses. And then to go along with that, I got her this little set of scrunchies from Cat and Jack as well. It brings five of them. And then in these very cute colors, which match perfectly with the clothes that I um, got her. And I also got her. She is into jewelry and she is into anything girly and sunglasses. So I wanted to get her uh, some necklaces and I got her this from Cat and Jack at Target as well. And I think it's so sweet. And it is uh, butterflies and a little daisy. Uh, don't get, um, right now I can't even think of flowers, but I saw, I thought it was so sweet. And she's always asking for necklaces and to look glam. She's a very girly girl. so this i thought would be perfect for her and it's gold it's very simple and it goes with everything that i got her um and these glasses over here which let me take off the tag i'm gonna be taking off the tags off of everything before i put them in the basket but these sunglasses here are from cat and jack as well from target and guess what they go perfectly they have the little daisy and um butterflies so they're a little set and i knew i had to get her something like that a little set and it is so nice because it all goes perfectly well together and it's such a springy theme so i had to i had to i had to um and then the final thing for accessories are is this little set of headbands it's three of them and again 
it all matches you guys it has butterflies um, it's from cat and jack it's three pieces for six dollars all right so now i'm going to show you guys two things that i got at the target dollar spot and the first thing are these very adorable flower sunglasses i when i saw them i knew i had to get them they were only a dollar each like i said at the target dollar spot um, and what I ended up doing myself is adding some of these little beads to them, which say wildflower. I am going to include um, like maybe a flower on each side or a flower and a butterfly um, to the sunglasses just to give them a little extra touch. And then actually the last beauty item is this hairbrush. I got this yesterday at Claire's for my oldest. I had been wanting to get her a hairbrush and one of her own because the ones that I have are for babies. Um, and I do use those a lot, especially when I like spray water in her hair so that the little hairs stay down. But she loves brushing her hair and I thought it'd be nice for her to have a brush of her own. So I ended up getting her this one at Claire's. So cute with the little kitty cats, which of course go very nicely with our little kitty over here i also wanted to include either a cup or a bottle in each one of their baskets and like at the beginning of when they were putting everything for spring out at target i saw them put out these adorable little tumblers and i fell head over heels for them they also had some with the stripes in the same colors which i wish i would have gotten those two for them to start using but nonetheless i only got these and flowers because everything that i wanted to do was like flower and springy uh kind of related and i thought these were so cute and they are from the spritz brand and only two dollars guys and are so adorable they're bpa free which i make sure anything i get is bpa free because i don't like any toxic things on their toys or in their drinkware or dinnerware or whatever and these are so cute it's such a nice add-on and they love their little cups so i know they're gonna both love this Another thing that I got for my oldest is something that um, is not all that fancy, but nonetheless, she'll definitely love. And it's this little notebook and this pen. Um, she really wanted a fluffy pen up top, but she really liked this one from Target when she saw it. Um, and I got her this notebook to go along with it. And it is from the More Than Magic, More Than Magic brand at Target. And I thought she would definitely love this because she loves to doodle, to write. Whenever I have a notebook, she loves to get mine and get my pen and just start writing, drawing, and doing whatever it is. So I thought this would be so cute for her to have her own little notebook. It's squishy at the front and it's very cute. I love the colors and inside the pages um, have the, the colorful stripes with the clouds. So she's definitely going to love this along with her little frilly pen um so this kind of like goes together of course it's like a little set though i purchased it separately but she's gonna enjoy getting this and having her own notebook to to doodle in and i had also gotten her before i got the pens i got these um uli uh no more oops double ended erasable erasable markers at marshall's for 4.99 um and this was before i found the pen that she wanted so I was gonna do this instead of the pen, but now I'm just gonna leave it there because again, she's only getting a notebook with a pen. So I'm gonna add these because she's able to just erase any mistake that she makes. And she loves to have a pen rather than crayons. So this is a nice alternative so that she has some color into you know, the, the little homeschooling things that we do or in her notebook as well. Along the line of crafts, I also got her this uh, created by me, Butterfly Magnets activity uh from the melissa and doug brand which i love and i'm going to be sharing some videos with you guys about some things that i really enjoy from melissa and doug and i thought it was a cute activity a craft activity for her to do um and it's butterflies of course goes along with the theme and she'll be able to uh, put this in our fridge or in her own little fridge i'll have to see how we could do that because her fridge is wooden so um, her little kitchen is wooden so she might not be able to put that but i'll figure out a way to make sure that they stick to her fridge and it's something that she's gonna enjoy creating something of her own and she loves loves butterflies thanks to fancy nancy which she loves and adores so i thought this was a cute little craft for her to do with a theme that she loves i also wanted to include some toys in their basket something for them to just enjoy and this i had actually seen um in another mommy youtubers what i got for my kids easter basket video and i thought it was perfect for the butterfly spring theme and again since my daughter my oldest loves butterflies i thought this was 
great for her and it's this um, little life pets little butterfly and it actually flutters when you're holding it and it does like a few little things this i got at walmart but they have it again at target amazon wherever i'll be sure to link everything for you guys um so that if you are interested in any of these items it's only a click away but i thought it was so cute and she loves like these um fake pets and animals and since this actually interacts i thought she would love this and again butterfly which she's obsessed with so so another toy item that i definitely wanted to include is this cute easter um hatchimals easter basket my daughter loves hatchimals she loves collectibles she loves surprise toys she's actually awake and wants me to go get her but oh um but yeah nonetheless uh let me just show you guys this really quick and then i'll go get her while hiding everything but i thought this was so cute and she'll definitely love this and it's you know perfect for easter it's little eggs and then it's the hatchimals that she loves and is already collecting so it'd be something great to add in her basket and she'll love getting this and the last toy item and that i got for my oldest is um a calico critters uh cat family it's one of the few that they have i'll actually show you guys right here because i don't have it in person yet i ordered it but it has not arrived and i have to get this video out to you all um right away because i'm already posting it late enough as it is so i'll be sure to include the picture and then also link it down below so you could all see it um but i thought it was very cute and i want them to start um their calico critter collection um and i thought it was very cute um and it's just something that i want them to grow and they love figurines okay, so the last few items um cannot be missing from an easter basket and the first thing is bubbles i got this from target it's from the sun and squad brand in their like toy pool summer section that they have and it actually comes in a pack of six for just three dollars but i ended up splitting the the little bubbles um between them and their cousins um and since they have some from valentine's day still left over and i'm gonna be getting them an e a summer basket with things that i'm gonna get them get for them anyways um i just thought one right now would be enough and then i also got them this chocolate ducky it's the hollow chocolate from lind and i love lind and the hollow chocolate um bunnies and duckies are the best at least in my opinion um and i just thought it would be great to include for them and i'll make sure that they only eat a little bit at a time because if not it's way too much sugar but it was something nice to include and then the last well not the last treat second to last are these peeps i know these are a hit or miss with people people either love them or hate them but my at least my oldest loves them and i like them as well and i think my youngest might like them too so instead of getting them the big pack i thought just getting them this one that brings four would be good and it's colorful very nice springy so had to include it and then the last treat i put in this little baggie from the dollar tree it was two of these for a dollar and inside i put these from kinder they love their kinder joy but again those little toys just are lay around the house don't get any use after they are opened so i thought getting the pack that brings about like 12 of these would be better it's amazing chocolate they love it and i wouldn't have the little toy laying around so i decided to open the packet and put them in here so it's a cute little touch in their basket so i got them these like bubble pop things um these are fidget toys are all the rage right now but these are great to keep them entertained um great for sensory um fine motor skills and i ended up getting them both a flower but my oldest has this green one and you'll see that my youngest has the same thing but in a different color and she chose this color without knowing that i was gonna end up getting this for her um and i got these on amazon which i'll link as well and now for my youngest daughter's easter basket again she's one and a half years old so the things that i got revolve around her age a little bit older as well and then yeah so let me get started of course i had to create a wand for her just like i did with um the oldest but hers is a darker pink and then of course also the little bunny ears this year they didn't have any at target that had the little flowers just like her sisters um from two years ago but i'm going to be creating the flowers myself out of felt to add onto here so that they both have um 
little uh, bunny ears with flowers, but it's something cute that I'm gonna, gonna be using the same one each year for their baskets. All right, so for my youngest, I also had to get a stuffed doll for, and I got this cute little bunny from the Pillow Fort brand at Target, and I thought it was just so sweet, and it's a bunny, so she could have her own bunny, and I love the colors, a little headband with a flower on top, which I have to open so that it stays open, though I think it's supposed to be like that, but it was super cute to add, and I know she's gonna love this. She loves stuffed animals, so she's gonna enjoy cuddling with this. So just like with my oldest, I got my youngest daughter a bathing suit, sandals, and the same clothes. So of course, I got the same little swimsuit for her, again, from the Just By You Carter's brand at Target. I also got her the same exact flip-flops, which are super cute. And of course, the little strap in the back really helps to keep the sandals in place for both of them. Um, and these were just $3.99, so it's a great price from Cat and Jack. And then I also got her the same little shirt and leggings set from the Cat and Jack brand. It's super cute. They're gonna be so matchy-matchy, it's not even funny. Um, and then the last thing which I'm trying to find um, is the little shirt and shorts set. Now for accessories, um, I got some things for my youngest as well. And the first thing I found that I run running towards was this cute little bag from Cat and Jack. It's in the toddler section um, and it's, I believe $10, but I got this because for um, my oldest, I got her a similar bag, same style and everything from Cat and Jack, but with like little puff balls in different colors for her second um, Easter, which is, she was exactly one and a half as well. So I thought, oh my God, Adriana, which is my youngest, needs one of her own as well and then this year they had this one which is a unicorn it is so cute so sweet and they love it. anything unicorn so i had to get it for her so that they have matching bags um, and then the same style it's really nice for spring and i had to get it and to go along with that of course i got her some accessories um so my oldest got scrunchies my little one is getting these headbands and i just love how the colors are so muted so nice it's very springy as well and it matches with her outfits so it's going to be very nice i also got her just regular headband at target it brings three of them um and it's super nice i love the colors and it's glittery she's gonna enjoy having her headbands on and then yeah the last thing for her no not the last thing i'm missing one item okay so the one that i have in hand right now is um this pack of little coil bracelets or however they're called um and i got these because she loves to get the little scrunchies that my daughter has which is like the same style but she loves bracelets she loves putting things on um but instead of getting her the ones that are stretchy that she could break and then choke on the little pieces with i got her these that are actual bracelets and it has little charms which i have to be careful with but i thought it was so cute so that she could have like bracelets of her own and just you know be styling with her outfit and then the last item i cannot find what did i do with it hold on okay so this is actually the second to last item and it is these sunglasses because she loves sunglasses and she only has one right now which i got her for valentine's day and my oldest again is in the jealousy stage so she's Sometimes she wants to share, other times she doesn't. So I thought Adriana should have her own anyways. And these are so cute um, with the hearts. And it's from the Cat and Jack brand as well from Target. And then the last thing is, oops, the hairbrush. So this one I had originally gotten for Annalise. Annalise and I'm still not sure I'm gonna give this to Adriana because I wanna get her one similar to her older sister's that has like the little sparkles and it's bigger so she could brush her hair. She loves brushing my hair too. So I want her to have one like her sister's, but this is also cute. And this is from the More Than Magic brand at um, Target. I would have, I, I might give this to her, but I have a feeling I'm gonna end up changing it because of course, like this is adorable and I want them to have like similar brushes so that there's no competition or anything like that. I'll just get her the, the one with the unicorn to go along with her purse. And one thing I forgot to mention in my oldest daughter's basket um, 
which I'll show you guys now, are these socks, which I got at the Target dollar spot. They were only a dollar each, and I got a pair for each one of them. Super cute. Next, of course, I cannot forget about these sunglasses from the Target dollar spot, um, which I got for my youngest as well before I got the other pair of sunglasses, um, but I wanted to have them created by me. And my youngest also had to get a little tumbler. She loves to drink from her older sister's cup so i had to get her one of her own so for the creating crafty type of coloring uh, activity that i got for my youngest is this melissa and doug water wow um little notebook uh, these are great because they're mess free all you have to do is include water in here um and then just draw the color comes on the second that the water touches um the pages and they're they're thick so of course you know it's meant for the water to not seep through and then when it dries up it dries up clear so she's able to use this over and over again so it's really great she loves to draw but i thought this was like a less messy option and another item that i got is this um munchkin abc's oh learn bath letter and numbers set i wanted to get this because um i want her to be entertained and love bath time a little bit more um, and of course this is something that they're gonna share along with some of the other things that they're getting in the basket but this was more than anything for my youngest because I want her to really get into bath time a little bit more because a lot of the time she cries um, especially if I'm washing her hair so I thought this was nice and it floats in the water and when they are wet they actually stick to the the tile so i thought this would be nice for her to just start learning colors letters numbers and great for my oldest to learn um to recognize the letters with how they actually look and then the numbers with how they actually look so for my youngest i got her the same amount of toy items as i did for my oldest and the first item i'm going to show you is one that i debated for the longest because i really wanted to get it um but it was um I didn't want to continue adding on to the basket but nonetheless i got it because i could not pass it off it was perfect for her age right now and it goes great with like her bunny and the easter theme so i had to get it and that's why i went overboard again on both of their baskets um and it is this um harvest carrot game um this is great for improving their fine motor skills for shape recognition um as well as hand eye coordination and it is very nice it's nice wooden um, solid wood very great um product and i really love how it is made i know she's gonna enjoy it she loves playing with wooden toys she's she's definitely gonna get a kick out of this and it's a good size for her um and it let me see it does say six months plus and it is bpa free I'll make sure to link that, but it is great. It has a bunny, which goes, like I said, with her little bunny and Easter, and it's just perfect for the occasion. So this next item I knew I had to get from the very beginning. It's very Eastery and um, so adorable, you guys. And it is this Tommy hide and squeak eggs. You guys, look, it comes in a little egg carton. Like, how is that not just... The most adorable thing you have ever seen and i love it because um it is great for their developmental skills they could learn a lot from this and they um they squeak which i know i might get annoyed by this a little bit but they don't squeak that loud so it's not too bad and then um it's great for uh color matching because as you can see the outside of them has a color and then the inside has the matching color the corresponding color so they would just have to match the top to them it's great for fine motor skills to be able to get the top back how it should be and then the egg back how it should because this also has shape sorting at the bottom each egg has a little shape which corresponds to the little bottom of the egg carton so like i said super adorable and uh great for you know developmental skills for my little one and then of course my little one is also getting the calico critters but she is getting the bunny um the hopscotch rabbit family um i thought this was so nice and i actually found these at home goods and that's where i ended up getting them uh at and i had seen uh calico critters for a really long time and i thought they were just so nice again great quality so when i saw it on home goods i knew i had to grab it i know she's gonna enjoy this she loves little figurines so this is a plus 
All right, so each of my girls actually have a fourth toy, which I forgot to show you my oldest when I was doing her stuff because I had it kind of like tucked away. But I'm gonna show you after I um, show you all what I got for my youngest, which is this Lego Duplo uh, little unicorn and star set. It is great now for springtime and it's kind of Easter-y because of the colors and whatnot. So of course I had to get this for her. It's for 18 months plus um, and I thought it was great. She loves anything that's on wheels, anything that moves um, and to be able to build stuff. So I thought this was great and it really works on her shapes and colors and her fine motor skills. So I knew I had to get this and I got this at Target. And then for my oldest, I wanted to get her like a board game because she's been really into it lately. And I there was one that I knew I had to get because it was Bunny Rabbit. It was Easter egg, so I knew I had to get it. And it's for her age, and it is this Jumping Jack game. Um, it is so cute. It's catch him and win. It has a surprise factor to it, and it you know it's something that she could definitely do because it is actually it's four plus but she's three and a half and nonetheless she understands how it works she's played some other board games before and she can play them well she's gonna love this she loves when things just pop out of nowhere and this pops out of nowhere and last but not least and like the, the toy type thing it's the fidget toy which i showed you that my oldest got as well um she got hers in a yellow it's super cute i love the flower and i thought it was great to just incorporate the flower for both them so that they're not fighting over like which shape they got um and it's great again for them to just fidget with um and i knew i had to get this for them especially for car rides or just around the house when they need some quiet time and it's a great sensory toy so she got yellow my oldest got green and they're gonna definitely enjoy this so the last items are those that cannot be missing from an easter basket and then the first thing is the bubble solution She's the same size and the same type as the one that her older sister got and it's from the same six pack um she got this color um i also put in her basket a milk chocolate ducky and then also her little kinder chocolate i again opened the pack and just put it in here because i think it looks super nice and it's a little treat to have in a bag and last but not least the peeps for her to try and one thing i forgot which i cannot fail to mention is the book that i got for my youngest and it is the easter bunny is coming to florida again because we live in florida south florida to be more exact and i thought it was just so cute it has such a great storyline um and the illustrations are super adorable and last but not least are these which were hiding from me um but i cannot forget to mention them i found these at the target dollar spot and they're adhesive bandages but i thought they were so cute and my oldest is getting the llamas and my youngest is getting the yummy animals um it kind of like i don't know i just couldn't choose so i got those for each one um and the reason i got bandages is because my oldest is scared of bandages but she really loves like the play bandages from like barbie doc mcstuffins so i thought maybe getting her some cute little bandages that looks like the the play toy type she'll definitely um like to wear them better because you know they got scrapes and whatnot so it's nice to have them and they're cute and they're sweet so hopefully she's not scared of them and adriana just gets cute ones as well so that was the last thing here's a finished look at the baskets as you can see um i had to really cram everything in there but nonetheless i really like how they came out and i had to end up putting the jumping jack game as well as the lego duplo on the side since they did not fit and i figured so before i even got started on them and i also placed the little headbands over on the side i might change where they are later but for now they're gonna be like in the front of the baskets but that's it right there and i also removed the headbands i'm gonna end up giving those to them earlier so that they could start wearing them um, but this is basically what it looks like this is my oldest daughter's basket with everything in there i had to definitely zhuzh everything so that it would fit and then this is my youngest daughter's basket i had to also take out the calico critters from their box so that they could fit and i'm gonna have to do the same for my oldest but i love the finished look and i'm sure they're going to be very happy to receive their baskets on easter day 
All right, so that is everything. I hope you guys are still with me because I know that was definitely a lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to get some ideas as to what you can give your kiddos, whether you give them the same thing or an alternative version of it or just something similar to it. Um, I really do hope that it helps you guys out. And again, um, the reason I wanted to show you all this is to, to help you guys out when it does come to choosing because I know I definitely had, had a hard time choosing easter items for them last year that's why i didn't do much and this year just watching videos it really helped me so i really hope i'm able to do the same for you guys but do not feel the need to buy them the amount of stuff that i got them or anything at all if you just can't just you know make sure to let them know that you love them and if you do get them stuff um and i was able to help please be sure to let me know down below if there was anything that you especially liked or if there's something that i didn't mention that um maybe I could use as an idea for next year i would really love to hear your comments and if you like this video or you thought it was helpful please be sure to give it a big thumbs up i would really really appreciate it and be sure to subscribe to my channel to see all of the videos that i will be uploading and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any of those upcoming videos um and i cannot wait to share everything with you guys again i really hope you enjoyed this and i will see you all soon Bye.